What's going on? Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Bill DeWeese here, coming to you live from my daughter's house, which is like three doors down from our house, which is in the process. We're in the process of a lot of uh, modeling stuff, including our floors this week are being uh, resanded and stained, so we can't we can't live in the house right now. So we're down here, and special thanks to Mallory and Will and the kids for for putting up with us this week. It's been it's been great to be down here, but I think we should be back uh, in the next day or so. Hey, a big thanks to you guys, those of you who participated in the Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale. A lot of you did, and I'm excited for you because uh, we really worked hard to put together a special package to give you everything you need to, to get her done when it comes to voiceover. And by the way, if you missed that, it's okay because we do have, you know, my I always have my training resources, my voiceover blueprint, all of that links below in the description. You can check that out. So today uh, I want to share with you a, a, a message I received last night from one of my voiceover, Mary. She's one of my voiceover blueprint students. And because I think there's some really important stuff to be learned in here and here. It's a very brief message. It says, Bill, Bill, all caps, three exclamation marks. She's very excited, as she should be. I just booked my first job on voice one, two, three. And to top it off, they used my, they used my, they used my audition I sent 11 days ago. Thank you for all you do. It works. So when she say it works, she's referring to the voiceover blueprint. And by the way, this is not Mary's first job. She's been booking work, but this is her first voice one, two, three job. And for those of you who have worked at getting jobs through pay to play, you know well that it can take a while to really get traction there and can take a lot of work and a lot of auditions. So uh, Mary's breaking through and making progress. And I'm very excited for her. The reason I'm going to share this is because of, of how she did it. Many voiceover talents underestimate the power of their audition. And what I mean by that is they think that it doesn't have to be recorded, edited, produced as well as regular work because it's just an audition. Nothing could be further from the truth. Even if it's a great performance, it still needs to be edited and finished up. It needs to sound exactly like a finished product because it's like, I, I love the real estate analogy, and it's it, because it's so true. People can't envision or imagine what they can't see or hear. So in other words, if you have an awesome house to show, it still needs to be, you need to have fresh paint, you know, staged with the right furniture, because people can't envision, even if it has tons of potential, they can't envision it unless they see it. It's the same thing with your voiceover work. Unless they hear the job finished as it will, they will assume that what you give them is what you're going to record for them. So if it's not edited real, edited real well and there's lots of ex extraneous noise in the background or just stuff that you would normally include in a finished recording, make sure that um, make sure that it is totally finished as if it was being recorded as an actual project because it may well indeed become the project itself. It certainly will go further towards helping you get hired. I'm not saying it will guarantee that you won't have to record the job. Usually we still do, but occasionally something cool like this happens where they take the audition and they say, you know what? We love it as is. We're going to use it this way. And um, forgive me for bringing up the uh, Chevrolet Find New Roads job again, but, you know, that, that job, it taught me a big lesson. And that is to never underestimate the audition. Um you know, when I auditioned for that job, I mean, it was just all it was was Chevrolet find new roads, Chevrolet find new roads, four, four words. And um, I could have just kind of blown it off and not taken the time to make sure it was fully, you know, edited and, and uh, in terms of noise reduction and all, I, I could have just kind of glossed over that, but I treat it like it's, I treat all my, my auditions like their final jobs. And as it turned out that job, which was a multiple five figure job, four words, multiple five figures they ended up using the audition. I didn't even have to actually do a session for that, which still, no, it's an outlier. No, no doubt. You know, it's an, it's an exception. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time. But even if they don't use the audition, the point is that your chances of being hired go are much better when you treat it as a finished product because the client will assume that what they get from you is what they are going to get from you for a finished job. So always treat auditions with a bit of reverence. I mean, it's as if it is, the, it's the real thing. Imagine and act as if and work as if it's, you've been hired for the job 
and this is it. Treat it that way with, because it deserves that, that kind of respect because that's the way the client's going to be listening to it. And that, my friends, can make all the difference when it comes to getting voiceover work. Let's uh, check in, see what's happening in the live stream chat. I, I love your comments, by the way. I love it when you just check in and say, you know, give me your name and where you're watching or listening from. And I love doing the, the roll call at the end just to see to see what's up and see who's here. It's like I, I like I know you guys. And if you're not here, I, I, I know it and I miss you. So I want you here and I want to be able to recognize you. Bob, first in line this morning from Reedsville, North Carolina. Wednesday greetings back to you, Bob. We've got Aaron, who was second in this morning. Woohoo! He's pretty excited, as you should be. It's a pretty competitive thing to be first or second into the live stream for sure. Uh, Aaron from Columbia, Missouri. Rusty, what's up in the uh, UP of Michigan? Susan. Okay, I love this. Susan says, good morning. Had my first voiceover blueprint live session yesterday. And just to explain that for those of you who don't know, part the voiceover blueprint program is not just on-demand training and not just the the community. You know, uh, it's it's be, it goes beyond that. It's actually we do live coaching slash mentoring sessions almost every weekday, 24, 25 of these a week. Audio tech, marketing, performance, where it's interactive, you can ask questions, you can participate, the whole nine yards. So Susan's first live coaching mentoring session was yesterday. She says, I think my brain is still mush this morning from all the great information. Great stuff. Thank you. Susan, we didn't mean to melt your brain and overwhelm you, but there is, it's, it's rich. It's like, I mean, it's rich in information. So don't feel like you have to swallow the voice of a blueprint in one bite. You know, just you nibble at you nibble at it a little bit every day. Just keep participating, keep being a part every day. And what happens is, over a little bit of time, these bits and pieces start to stick, and the bigger picture starts to come into focus. And before you know it, you are a well-oiled, fine-tuned voiceover income machine. Uh, let's see here, Corey. Good Wednesday to you in Whitehall, Wisconsin. We've got Bill Free in Boise, Idaho. Hey, Bill, Terry. Good morning from Cold Falston, Maryland. Thanks for all of your great information and motivation. Voiceover keeps me warm. Yeah, Terry, it keeps it keeps me warm too. I love it. Uh, and I mean that physically as well. It's what pays the bills. <laughs> it keeps keeps the heat on in the house. Oh, let's see here. Uh, we've got. Andrew in Calgary checking in. Melissa in San Diego. Denise, hello to you in Long Island. Um, Ivy, good morning. Doug in Greensboro, North Carolina. What's going on? AG in India, how are you doing? Hey, Ralph, uh, I look forward to driving into the Black Friday premium offer I purchased last night. Thank you. Or diving into it, not driving into it. Well, I look forward to you doing that as well, Ralph. And, and thank you for that. And I'm excited for you to to uh, dig into that content. There's a lot of great content there. Again, don't feel like you have to, con you have access to that, you know, for as long as you want, you can access it over and over and over again. So don't feel like you have to drink water from a fire hose, you know, take a few bites, step away for a bit, digest it, come back, come, you know, come back for more, a lot of good stuff in there. Patrick, hello to you in Maryland. Mary, how are you in uh, New Jersey? Danielle, what's up in Fort Wayne? Tess in Tequila, Georgia, who says, burr. Now, cold in Florida, I mean, in Georgia, that's a relative thing. Um, but I'm, you know, when you're used to, it's hot, or Atlanta, I don't know what uh, word Tequila is like in relation to Atlanta. I know they don't call it hot Atlanta for nothing. I know that. So once you, once your blood's thinned out a bit, it doesn't take a whole lot to, to, to make you feel pretty cold. I do know that. Kathleen in southwestern Wyoming. Timothy. In Altoona, Pennsylvania. Hey, Merrill. Merrill, I saw you had a you had a birthday recently. Happy birthday to you. I hope it was a great birthday. Hope you spent it with uh, some awesome family and friends who gave you some awesome cake and ice cream and whatever it is you, that you wanted for your birthday. Merrill says, good morning from New Jersey. I hope you and the family had a blessed Thanksgiving. Yes, we did. Thank you. The same for you, Merrill. Uh, Tanya, happy hump day from South Philly. Danny, good morning, or let's see, good morning. Birthday was yesterday. Danny, happy birthday. My wife got me everything I need to get started from one of your videos. Oh, that's fantastic, Danny. I'm so excited. That's great. That's great. 
Dale, good morning to you in Atlanta. Mark, in Estes Park, Colorado. Greg in Nashville, North Carolina. Theo, oh, there you go. Uh, sorry, this stream, again, just moving on me here. Greetings from the kitchen table in moderately hilly. I'm guessing you meant chilly. Hilly and chilly, Palo Sills. <laughs> Joe Lee says, uh, I have great news. I'll share at on the 11 a.m. webinar. Thanks for all you, Vicky and Mallory and Alex, do. Thank you, Jolie. Jolie's in the voiceover blueprint, and we, uh, I have a live session today at uh, 11 Central. Yeah, so looking forward to hearing the good news, Jolie. That's awesome. Love that. John and Rhinebeck, how are you doing? Uh, let's see. We got Peter Jones in the UK. What's up? In Cornwall, Cornwall, UK. Booth has been delivered, so time to kickstart my VO journey. That's fantastic. Congrats on the booth. That's that's awesome. Sandra, good morning to you in Dallas, Fort Worth. Jolie it says that Dave Fenoy, you know who Dave is, of course, the great character actor, says there are no uh, the character voice actor. Well, he's an actor too, but he's known primarily for his voiceover work. There are no auditions, only performances. Boy, that's the truth. Words of wisdom there. Hey, Ty, how are you doing in Warsaw, Indiana? Dominique, good morning to you in 27 degree Tacoma, Washington. Been away for a bit. Glad to be back to hear your encouragement and wisdom. Patrick says, I recently had a client use my audition recorded for the job, a website video for their business. Yep. Again, another case in point right there, Patrick. Congrats on that. Wayne in Port Orchard, Washington. We got Magic Bob back to my day, back to my day job today. James here to spend some time with Bill and our awesome chat crew. Fantastic. Anthony, good morning from Phoenix. 72 for a high today. You're making me just a little bit jealous there, Anthony. Just a little bit. Chris, what's up in Seattle? Wally, good morning to you. Fellow blueprinter. We, we have so many blueprinters who come over to, to spend time here on the morning live stream. I love that. Wally's in Annapolis. Good morning to you, Wally. Keith in Renton, Washington. Susan, yeah, this is good. Susan says, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. It's one of my favorite sayings. It got me through a couple of Chicago marathons for sure. That was my mantra. Um, where do you find the live sessions? Are they on Facebook? Bill, in the voiceover blueprint, the way that works, uh, you should be getting, you'll see every Monday an email goes out that lists all of the sessions for that week with the links, the, the what the sessions are, what time they are, and then a link where you can click it to join it. So you can join it live. It's, it's, we use the GoToWebinar platform. If you can't be there or you miss it, no problem. All those sessions are recorded. And so when you log into your the learning portal of your voiceover blueprint, you have access to literally a year's worth of those sessions. So, you know, if you missed yesterday's, you go back and watch yesterday's. But you can also watch from last week, the week before that, the week before that, and the week before that, should you so choose. Uh, in the Facebook group, I live stream as I work for my studio. That's what that is. So when, which I haven't been able to do for the past few days because I'm not in my studio. Mallory studio is not, is not um, set up for it. And frankly, it's been a very slow week, which in all honesty, I've been grateful for. It's, you know, when you, when you get busy, it's like when you're not busy, you want to get busy. But when you're busy and you're busy all the time, those little breaks are, are much appreciated. Uh, we've got Darby in Nashville just getting started in the VO world. Hey, Darby, you're at the right place. Welcome. Good to have you here. Jason is listening on, let's see, hello from St. Louis. Uh, listening on my plan, period. Voiceover work is much quieter than a middle school. <laughs> All your planning period at school. Got it. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> I can't imagine many things more not quiet than a middle school. Meryl says, my birthday was yesterday. So happy. Birthday to all my birthday buddies. Yes, indeed. Lemuel's making pancakes in Fort Wayne. Lemuel, you shouldn't say that unless, you're, unless you can share with everybody. <laughs> no, we'll just, we'll live vicariously through you. By the way, the best pancakes in the world are made right here where I live. I've eaten at every pancake. I love pancakes. I've eaten at every pancake place imaginable. 
But there's a little, it's just a little locally owned place here. The only one of them. It's not a franchise, not a chain. And there, I don't know what they put in their pancakes, but my goodness, it's, it, it's a whole, it's next level stuff. So, so good. Um, it's making me hungry, Lemuel. J James, happy birthday to Meryl. Oh, okay. Wishing uh, Meryl, James, give you a birthday shout out there, Theo. Indeed, today is Booth, moderately chilly and hilly. There you go. David in Arizona. Miss Johnny, how are you doing in Houston, Texas? Hope you're doing well. David just finished his vocal booth that he modeled after the VO1 booth. Congrats, David. Congrats on that. James, I used to live in Fort Wayne. I liked it there better than other Indiana cities. I've been in Fort Wayne a few times myself. I mean, I've never for any extended period of time. Um, I've got a, uh, back when I was uh, programming radio in Columbus, Ohio, uh, an Ohio State student, I had several Ohio State students who interned for me. And um, one is a, is a, was a young man who went on to become He's not such a young man anymore, but he's been managing a radio station in Fort Wayne for years now. It's fun to watch, you know, because I spent like 24 years in radio. So to see uh, people, kids, you know, that I that I mentored and trained through the through their careers and then in the academic arena, uh, then to see them get, you know, to, to, to build their careers and then in, into voiceover. It's just extremely gratifying. Uh, we've got Marie in Texas with her cup of joe. Enjoy your Michigan cherry. Indeed, I am. James says, I always forget to hit live chat. I miss a lot with the default top chat setting. You know what? Me too. I'm glad that's not just me. I can't tell you how many times that uh, I would look and think, well, there's nobody chatting. And it's because it's not... It wasn't the live chat. There's a live chat and top chat. Anyhow, sometimes it just takes me a while to figure it out. And then once I do figure it out, they change it on me. So what's the point? Matt in central New Jersey. We've got, uh, let's see here. Al, good morning. Ivy says, love pancakes, especially with bacon inside and blueberries. Yes, 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 and yes. Scotty, uh, sorry, I'm tardy to class. Just slipping in. Brookings, South Dakota. Hey, Scotty, we're glad you're here. <laughs> Marie says, I hear puppies. You hear puppies. And can you maybe you can see puppies? And the other one's not a puppy. That's my wife, and there's my daughter. Right over there. Okay, let's see here. We've got Danny. Um, yeah, Danny, I'm sorry. The Black Friday sale is over, as well as the Cyber Monday sale. We do a big, a big blowout every year. However, I still have plenty of great training. And if you go to the links below the, in the, uh, the video description, they're all there. So you can check it out. Hey guys, that's it. Have a great one. Thanks for being here. We'll talk to you soon.